29 is for tall people, right? Exactly, Neil. 27 for short stuffs. 100% yes. 29 is great for trucking over stuff, but not so agile. No, free ride is all where it is at with 27.5. Well, Blake, today I'm going to try and convince you otherwise. Well, I'm not riding your bike. I've got this one. No, Canyon have sent you. <laughs> there you go. Canyon have sent you a brand new Strive to see if you should forget everything you know about wheel size. I'm not going to forget how you did that. How did you do that? That's like black magic. That's like you went to Hogwarts and learnt that. And it's the same colour. Yeah, there's one question, right? With what comes with big wheels? Weight. Eh? This thing's going to be heavy. No, nope, that's an easy one to answer, Blake. Uh, we're riding Strive, big enduro bike. Mm. 40 and a half kilograms. Not a lot. It's a big enduro bike. Mm. And anyway, all the cross country pros ride 29 so that's an easy one to answer. Yeah, they're no, easy. they're not heavy. That is actually true. I'm losing this. Oh, my legs. Yeah. Neil, look at the size of these wheels, man. Neil, I'm really high up, mate. It's too high. Neil, I'm too rad for this. Can you hear me? Neil, Neil. Uh, you are not too rad for 29, <laughs> What I mean is you can do rad stuff on that. Yeah. Uh, 29 has been around for a while, mate. Yeah, like 20 years. It has been, surprisingly long time, actually. Yeah. But the last few years, three to five years, things have really progressed. Mm -hmm. And you can do loads of stuff on them really well. They've become the standard for enduro racing. They have. Also, downhill's going that way as well. So, come on, let's go for more of a ride, and I'll show you what they're really good at. Racing, right? Well, so, fast, that means speed. Is it gonna make me faster? Almost certainly. Neil, I know you. You know me, and you know that I like getting in the air. Now, to me, the 29-inch the, uh, wheels feel like they belong on the floor, not up in the well, sky. Well, keep your mind open. Let's have a go. See what, you, see what you think afterwards. You got some jumps? I've got some jumps. Ooh. Show us. What's the verdict? Neil, do you know what? I feel like it was a little bit comfortable. It's fast, that's for sure. So I was modulating my brakes because I was going, you know, this big wheels and stuff. So a big in, case if you case it. Yeah. <laughs> but in the air, you know, in the air, stable. Yeah. Not I, as flowy, like, because of the centrifugal force of that humongous wheel. But I, I can get used to it. You can probably throw them around a bit more. It takes a bit more effort. I think, to me, they always feel really stable. Like, you're not going to get a... Or you're less likely to get a surprising kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've got more inertia, bigger wheels. Yeah. But you can definitely jump on them. You're not going to see anyone doing Rebel Rampage on them. Mm, nah, but nah, I don't think so. 27.5, man. But for everyday jumping? Well, I think 29's pretty... I like I just it. say that. Come on, let's do it. More? More. Yeah. 29ers, they're for tall riders, right? Giants only. 177. That's the height of an average man, Neil. I reckon I might be a bit shorter than the average man. 174. 174? Slightly shorter than the average man there, Neil. 29 is going to be difficult. So 29ers <laughs> are for tall people, aren't they? Well, I reckon the EWS racers have proven that wrong. So Dimitri Tordo, Canyon Factory Racing. Yeah. Properly fast. Yeah. Properly short. Like this big, is he? Yeah. Totally. What? Do you know what? I'm scared, Neil. Yeah. Why? Well, There's I... no cougars in here. No, no, it's not cougars. I'm scared. Well, actually, the cougar is my rear tire. I'm scared <laughs> when it comes to a big jump. Yeah. I'm going to buzz my bum or I'm going down something steep or going off a drop. It's just going to go. Just... Well, I mean, that does take a bit of learning. So, but it's no different to 27.5. You just need to learn where that rear tire is. Mm. You'll get used to it. More riding of the bike then yeah. to try and figure out where. 
less moaning, more is. riding. Yeah? Sorry, Neil. Down here, is it? This thing's gonna be less agile being big wheels on techie trails. Tight stuff? Yeah. So, all right. Oh my goodness me, that was sharp bet. But that, that sort of trail is where I really love a modern 29er. It's kind of tech, well it's really techy, but on a smaller wheel bike it would feel awkward. It would be, feel the worst thing. Well this feels like it gives you flow and it makes it easier, yeah. and for me, more fun. I couldn't agree with you anymore, Neil. That was super fun. Like you said, on a small wheel bike, that would be the worst thing in the whole entire world. Plus actually both of us on this bike, so you've got the shape shifter, you can have it high or low BB, slack or non so slack, but at one bit up there I had it quite high so I could yeah. pedal through those gnarly rocks and then slammed it down so it's a bit slacker for banging through the yeah. holes. Eliminates all that pedal striking and high rock areas. Now talk about fun, Neil. Yeah. Let's go and have fun. I want to see how hard you can push this thing in a certain trail. I want to ride it like I would my 27 point. See how much fun it is? Now yeah. that's controversial. I know it are fun already, so <laughs> I'll show you how much fun they are. All right, I'll follow. About the tight stuff there. So good. I felt like it was on rails at a point because I didn't expect it to go down a trail like yeah. that. Yeah. I've raced quite a lot of Enduro on 29ers. Well, this bike and the Pacifico. Yeah. And I know they're good in tight stuff, loads of grip. I think the only time I feel it a bit is when you're going really fast and maybe there's a really tight switch back. Yeah. That's those sort of rare occasions where you've got to really stop the bike really quickly. Yeah. Maybe you feel a bit more like inertia, but. Yeah. The rest of the time feels good. It's so good. Uh, do you know what? And also, it gets going quicker. Yeah. Like, it's fast. When it's going, it's fast. Right then, Blake, what do you think? Do you know what? After riding all day on this bike, it's, I felt quite comfortable, Neil. It is a very capable bike. And yeah. I did feel at home on it, weirdly, being a 29er. It's definitely not a one-size-fits-all solution. There'll definitely be short people that love 29ers, tall people that love 27.5. Yeah. So, they're not going to suit everyone, nope. but for their certain riding style and riding preference, they're going to be really good for some people. And it's true that 29ers have never been so capable. They're great bikes that a lot of people can reap their benefits yeah. from, not just tall racers. Yeah, yeah. Can I keep this one? Ah, maybe. This is mine, so I'm keeping this one. All right. Well, if you want to see the race off, who's the fastest presenter at GMBN? Click just over here. Thumbs up if you love 29ers. Hit that subscribe button. See ya. <laughs>